Good afternoon and welcome back to the Mindful Model Maker. Um, I just wanted, I did briefly touch on this the other day when I made the last video, but I thought I'd just show you, demonstrate. Um, for people that uh, perhaps never d used any of this um, type of modelling before, where you... Um, where the edge of the wood is kind of burnt by the laser so the laser actually cuts it now the good thing is that you you really get um a proper shape it's square on the corners and everything else so it is a, a good medium but it does have one or two things that don't happen you can paint on the flat surface it's best if it's kind of sealed and then painted and it's okay now, the one thing I did discover while I was making um, this Hudson is one with the rivets uh, and two with the paint on the burnt edges. So what I thought I'd do is just give you a kind of a brief thing. Just It just helps, saves a bit of time and um, you might not get so frustrated. I mean, this is just the standard um, humble enamel. It's uh, a, a matte a matte blue so my usual technique I use little old screwdrivers uh, various things like that which I use for stirring it's always good to stir the paint um, clean off like that and my usual way of cleaning that off then is uh, I use loo roll actually and uh, that seems to do the job right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint a bit of this on this edge so that you can see so so this is a matte paint that I'm painting straight on to that edge um, I also put the rivets on there and the rivets didn't really take so what you really need is a nice thick coating of this on there but it does go on better than the the normal gloss paint and then the next bit you can do will be the gloss paint on top of this when it dries so there we are so that's put that on there and you can see straight away but in a minute when I do the opposite and I put the gloss paint straight on there you should see the difference well I did because it was um, you, you'll find that some of that will fade away but it will be it will leave enough coating on there for the next coat of paint that you put on to actually start to colour it which is what you need so We'll just clean that off the brush that's clean enough for that right so lid back on that one like so and then we'll go over to again another humble enamel so I'm, I, do, I do use a few acrylic paints now but I'm still I suppose it's because I've always been brought up on enamel paint it's always it's always the paint that I use the most of but anyway so give that a stir and make sure I get a kind of a thick lump of it there so that I'm not just going with the paint off the top it's got the mix in with it right so that's the paint ready for that let's get my bit of loo roll here and clean that off right so that's done all right paintbrush so you can see it's still got some of the blue on there that's more or less how it will dry but this when you paint this on it looks all right to start with but after a while i'm just leaving that for a few minutes you can see it's starting basically to fade away and it does um and this is what why i now put a matte coat on first because you can keep going over and over like that because it all livens up and it looks really nice and then if you watch in a few moments it will start to come back through again and by the time say half an hour an hour's gone that won't be enough and if you put another coat of paint on top of that um, it still won't be that good so I hope you can see the difference there a bit there is a little spot there obviously where I haven't put none on but it, you can see it's beginning to fade away so this is just a little um, a little trick really that I've learned with working with um, 
this type of material is lovely to work with. I like it because once you've got the coat on, you can make it look like metal um, and all the rest of it. And uh, yeah, it's it's good. It's quite lightweight. It's strong. And of course, where 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 it's been laser cut, you get a really square finish, which is what you want sometimes when you're putting something together. So yeah, you can see that that's kind of darkening back up again now. Well, I hope you can anyway. Um, but after a while, that will be. The mat now will more or less stay as that. So if you left that a couple of hours or so, you'll be able to coat straight over the top with the darker blue, and it will look um, like the blue on the Loco, because some of these have had several coats in order to get it. Um, the worst bit was these straight bits along here, because that was the burnt bit. But... Um, what I did in the end was I, I put the undercoat on once I discovered what I needed to put a kind of a flat matte paint on, then it seemed to work okay. So anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Um, and um, we'll probably go on with a little bit more of the Hudson and I will also start making the slate wagons. So you'll see that. So that'll probably be the next video, probably in the next couple of days. I'll make that. Anyway, thank you very much, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. And again, if you like, please like, and if you want to subscribe to see more, then that's entirely up to you. It's free of charge. Just subscribe. Anyway, thank you very much. See you soon. Bye now.